Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over image styles. So if you remember in a couple of lessons ago, we made this my first project and we had this image here. So if you notice on this page, um, it looks like this. This image is really small and uh, it just sort of generates this size. If you recall, we'll go into content types and under projects, we're going to go to, actually we're going to go to manage display and we set the image style to be medium. Well at the time we didn't necessarily know what that was going to output and this is in fact what it outputs. So what if, you know, the image style you want is not one of these defaults, whatever they may be. Um, you can actually set up your own and they're actually very configurable. So we're going to go to configuration we're going to go to image styles under media. And then here are all the image styles available. So let's just add a new one just so you can see the process. So the style name is we're going to call this. Um, well, we already have one that I made earlier for projects. So let's just call this. Um, well, we'll call it project um, test. Just so I, I know which one is the test. I can get rid of it later if I don't plan on using it. Okay. So this is the image style creation screen, or this is just when you edit, this is what it looks like. So it's going to say your original, these are the dimensions, and um, the your image style, these are the dimensions. And of course this is not actual size, it's giving you a scale so that it fits on the screen. And it's saying the project test by default is nothing affected to it, and it's going to say 600 by 800, okay, if this one originally was 600 by 800. So down here you can see there's a list of effects and you can have different effects in different operations. You can see you can crop, desaturate, resize, rotate, scale, scale, and crop. So let's say we want it to be um, exactly, we'll have it say 500 by 500 square. We're going to select scale and crop and we'll click add. And we're going to say we want this to be 500 pixels by 500 pixels, perfect square, if you recall this project, this image is not a perfect square. Okay, style has effect has been successfully applied. We'll click update style just to be sure. Sometimes I like to re-click things. Okay, so let's go back to content types, uh, manage display for projects, and then this image style where it said medium before, we should now see an option for project test, which is the one we just created. So let's select that, click update, click save, Okay, now if we refresh this page, we're going to see a 500 pixel by 500 pixel square image. Let's verify that. And you can see here it's 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So that is creating an image style. So uh, if you'll notice, however, this just sort of crops it wherever it wants. Um, this is sort of cropping right in the middle. What if you wanted to say start in top left and then crop from there, or even just say start in the top and crop from there. Um, luckily we can do that with a little bit more configuration. So let's go to configuration, I'm going to keep this open in a new tab, image styles again, and then uh, project test. Okay, and let's delete this scale and crop, because the scale and crop is just, it's great for getting things done quickly, but it's not as configurable. So what we want to do is we want to scale this first. So let's click add. And we're going to want to scale this to being 500 pixels wide. And we're not going to touch the height yet because what this is going to... Actually, I'll take that back because these images are wider than they are tall. So we're going to set the height to be 500 pixels and not touch the width. Um, this is going to basically... Um, the width will now... Actually, if we click Update Style, you can see. We'll refresh this. So now we have an image that's the same proportions as it was, but it's um, 500 pixels tall. Well, that's great, but we wanted this to be a square, and we wanted to start from the top left. Okay, well now we can then add a crop. And in the crop, we can anchor it to the top left. And in this, we can say, make sure the width is 500, make sure the height is 500, and the effect. Okay, and now let's refresh this. We now have 500 by 500, 
anchored to the top left. And for fun, just to show you something else you can do, we can desaturate it and then we can rotate it. Let's rotate this um, 180 degrees and we'll click add effect. Okay, so now this is gonna be upside down, black and white. Awesome. I mean, this is not super practical here, but there are some things you could use this for, and simply having these tools at your fingertips allows you to utilize image styles to create cached images in all sorts of ways. So that's how you create your image styles to output the images at the size and, um, and quality and everything that you want them to be. This is very useful. Uh, so you don't have to resize your images with CSS or anything. It's loading cached versions of these images that are gonna load faster than the full-sized images and they're going to functionally act better in your site. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Once again, my name is Scott and thanks for watching. Bye.